I didn't miss a single workout for 90 days. I pushed through the pain, ignored the fatigue, and did exactly what the grind culture told me to do. The result? I ended up weaker than the day I started. We're obsessed with more. More reps, more volume, more intensity. But while I was checking off boxes, my body was secretly redlining. My sleep vanished, my joints felt like concrete, and eventually, my muscles literally forgot how to fire. I had run straight into the J-curve, a scientific danger zone where more exercise actually increases your risk of death and destroys your progress. Today, I'm breaking down the science of why elite training can give you the heart of a couch potato and the exact three-day-a-week blueprint that I use to fix my nervous system and finally start seeing real gains again. Day one. I'm fired up. I had my training plan ready. Supplements stocked. Playlist loaded. The whole thing. I hit the gym. Pull-ups, dips, push-ups, and rows. Everything feels amazing. I'm sore the next day, but it's a good sore, you know? Day four. Still going strong. Someone at the gym asks if I'm training for something. Yeah, I say. Muscle ups in 90 days. They nod. They look impressed. I feel like a champion. Day seven. One week down. Zero rest days. I'm basically a machine now. I can already feel it working. That didn't last. Week four. Something feels off. My sleep is garbage. I'm waking up at 3 a.m. for no reason, just lying there, mind going for no reason. But hey, that's probably just my body adjusting, right? My appetite is weird too. Some days I'm starving. Other days I don't even want to look at food. And my resting heart rate, I check it one morning, 68 beats per minute. That's up from my usual 58. I ignore it. I figured that's just what hard training feels like. My workouts are still okay. Not great, but okay. I'm hitting my reps. Form is mostly there. A little looser than before, but nothing crazy. I keep going. Month two. Things start to fall apart. My warm up used to take five minutes. Now it takes 15 because my shoulders feel like they're made of concrete. My elbows are constantly achy, not injured, just angry, all the time. In my training sessions, I'm not recovering between exercises anymore. I used to rest two to three minutes and feel fresh. Now, I'm resting five and it feels like I'm underwater. My heart rate hits 170 during a basic pull-up set. Stays there, doesn't come down for 10 minutes. But I keep pushing, because that's what you do, right? No pain, no gain, just push through it. I'm doing all the things the internet says to do. I'm showing up every day, I'm working hard, and I'm falling apart. Month three, and I crash. I walk into the gym for my usual pull-up session. I grip the bar. I pull. Nothing. My body just doesn't respond. It's like my muscles forgot how to fire. I try again. I get maybe six inches off the ground before my arms give out. Six inches. That's it. Three months ago, I could do 12 clean pull-ups. Now I can barely do one ugly one. I try a muscle-up attempt. You know, the thing I've been chasing this whole time? I look like a dying fish flopping on a dock. It's pathetic. The calendar is full. Every day is checked off. I showed up. I did the work. 
but I'm emptier than when I started. Turns out, there's a name for this. The wrong side of the J-curve. And I ran straight into it. Okay, so what went wrong? Turns out there's this thing called the J-curve for exercise and longevity. And I blew right past the sweet spot into the danger zone. Check this out. Light joggers who run 1 to 2.4 hours a week, they cut their mortality risk by 78%. Marathon level runners running 10 plus hours per week, their mortality risk is basically the same as people who don't exercise at all. Same mortality. Couch potato equals marathon runner. That's insane. And listen to this, those marathon runners, they show eight times more heart scarring than moderate exercisers. 12% of veteran endurance athletes have myocardial fibrosis. That's damaged heart tissue. Only 1.5% in people who train at a normal level. I wasn't running marathons, but I was doing the strength training equivalent, grinding every single day at high intensity with zero recovery, pushing my heart rate to 170 and keeping it there. My body didn't adapt, it broke down. But here's the thing, calisthenics has a built-in safety system, and I ignored it. With calisthenics, if your form breaks down, the movement just fails. You can't cheat it. When you're exhausted, a muscle-up doesn't happen. A handstand doesn't hold. A front lever dumps you on the floor. Your body weight is fixed. It's honest. You can't add more weight and pretend you're progressing. With barbells, you can always throw on more plates and ask your gym buddy, who's like twice your size, to basically bench press the bar for you while you pretend you're lifting it. That's fake progress. The bar moved. You didn't actually do it. Calisthenics doesn't let you lie to yourself like that. When you fail, you know it immediately. The problem? I found a way to cheat the system anyway. I just did more volume with worse form, kept the reps going even when my body was screaming at me to stop. So what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to train three to four days a week, not seven. But Here's what I missed. Your nervous system recovers fast, like 20 minutes fast. But your muscles, your tendons, your joints, they need actual time. When you train every single day, you're never recovered enough to actually push hard. You're always working at 70% capacity. But when you train three days per week with full recovery, every session, is 100%. Every set actually counts. One to two hard sets per movement. That's it. Not five sets, not 10 sets. One or two sets where you actually go close to failure. Rest three to four minutes between sets. Let your body actually recover so the next set is productive, not just garbage reps that look good on paper. The biggest mistake? Stick with the same movements for 8 to 12 weeks minimum. I was chasing muscle ups, but I kept switching exercises every two weeks because I saw something cool on Instagram. My body was confused. My nervous system didn't know what to adapt to. Nothing got stronger because I never committed to anything long enough. That shredded guy doing muscle ups, he's still at the gym making it look easy. But I'm not trying to be him in 90 days anymore. I'm thinking longer term now. I took two weeks completely off, let my body actually recover, came back training three days per week, stuck with basic pull-ups and dips for 12 weeks straight. We made a printed calendar for this. Ships right to you, <laughs> link below. My pull-ups went from can't do one back to 15 reps. My joints stopped aching and my sleep came back. In the muscle up, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting closer the right way this time. Slow and sustainable beats burnout and broken. Train for decades, not for Instagram. Smart decisions, 
real recovery. Just keep showing up and let the results compound.